Hi art friends, welcome back to art class with Mr. Poulis. Today we are going to be making a self-portrait based in the style of Romero Brito. So by now I hope you've learned a little bit about Brito. You understand that he is a Brazilian pop artist. He breaks his pictures up into sections and then he fills them with bright colors and patterns. His artwork is typically very bright and happy and he's honestly one of my favorite artists. So to get started today you just need a paper, a pencil, and then something to see yourself with. It could be the camera on your computer or your iPad, or it could be a mirror. Let's get started. Friends, so I have my paper, and I have my pencil, and I've got something that will let me see my own face. I've got a mirror. Hey, you can see the camera. Now, you could use a mirror. You could use your camera on your uh, device, your phone, your computer, whatever you've got. Now, in the files section, I've printed out something like this. And these are the proportions of a face, and it helps you go step by step to make a human face. Now here's the thing. If you follow this exactly, you're going to look like this, and I'm pretty sure that none of us look like this. This is a general guideline for where to place your body parts. Now everybody's nose looks different, everybody's eyes are slightly different shape. I have more wrinkles than you guys do, right? Your eyebrows are different, your hair is different. And the reason that drawing people is so hard is because People are very good at noticing differences in other people's faces. So that's why when you go to the grocery store and you see a hundred different people, you can pick the one person that you know out of that crowd. You can see your mom. You can see your neighbor, right? It's just because we're very good at noticing those little things. So it's very easy to make a little mistake and suddenly it doesn't look like you. So I'll tell you what. If this doesn't look like you, that doesn't mean you did a bad job. It means that you're learning. What I want you to do to get started, I'm going to kind of put this off to the side and I'll be referencing it, but what I want you to do to get started is to create this sort of egg-like shape. And if it's easier for you to draw it upside down and then flip your paper, that works too. But you want to work nice and large on this page. Another tip when you're drawing, see I'm not sure how well you can see what I'm doing, but another tip when you're drawing people. Uh, or really drawing anything complicated, start with pencil and work light. I know it might be hard for you to see what I'm doing. I'll do my best to maybe press a little bit harder just for the camera. But remember that when I go to erase it, because I'm pressing harder, it might be hard to do. So I've got my big egg shape, and it is pretty big on that page. In fact, it's probably as big as my face. The reason we want to draw nice and big today is because Romero Brito liked to break his pictures up and add patterns. And if you're working really small, it's going to be a problem. So go ahead and do that first step. The next step in the proportions of the face is to draw a, hor I'm sorry, a vertical line through the face. Cut your face in half. Everybody's face is symmetrical or close. And this is going to be our line of symmetry. If you remember back to learning about butterflies and some other art projects that we've done in art class, We've talked about lines of symmetry before, so I will use a ruler for this, but I suppose you don't have to, okay? So now I've cut my face in half. Cool. The next step is to cut that line in half horizontal. So to make sure that I'm actually halfway, I am going to read the ruler. And I made mine about nine inches tall, and if it helps, you could try cent centimeters, whatever's easier to cut in half. 22 centimeters tall. Half of 22 is 11. I'm just going to make a little mark at the 11. Cut that in half. Great. The next step is to cut the bottom section in half. Halfway between this line and the chin. So, we'll measure it. It should be 11 centimeters, right? Or if you could do inches, whatever. Half of 11 is 5 and a half. So I'm going to make a mark there. The numbers might not may be the same for you. Just remember that I'm finding the halfway point. I'm cutting that in half. The last measuring step is to cut the bottom into a third. Okay, So that means whatever this space is, I should be able to fit it two more times down there. So let's see what we've got. It does not have to be exact. Um, I've got five and a half. I've got almost six. Okay, That's not bad. Six divided by 3 is 2. Okay, um, You can use a calculator for this, you can ask for help, or really for this part you can guess. This isn't math class, 
It's helpful. It's really helpful to be able to use the ruler, but you want whatever measurement you pick, you want to be able to fit three of them. So two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters. Okay, so two is two isn't bad. And you come down um, one third. So I'm going to come down one of those two centimeter marks and draw a line. Now listen, I might be confusing you here, and I'm sorry if I am. But we cut the head in half this way, we cut the head in half this way. Then we found another halfway point, and then we, we came down a little bit and made another line. Okay, That is the entirety, that is all of the first section right here. That's done. Okay, Now we can focus on the bottom section. The first step here says to draw the eyes with the corners on the line. To ensure that the eyes are the correct size, you should be able to fit five equal eye widths across the head. Listen, that can be a bit much, okay? This might be a high school level drawing. Um, don't worry so much about that. Worry that your eyes are about here, okay? They're not up here. They're not down here. You'd look super strange. You might look like an anime character. This line here is your eye line. All right, and from this point on, this is when we're going to start using the mirror. Okay, now everybody's eyes are going to look different. And for this, I really should probably take my glasses off just to get the shape of my eye. Now, well, maybe not. It's a little hard to do all of this at once. If you look at my eye shape, it's hard for me to do this. Um, it's a very wide football, and I've got some folds above my eye. All right, I'm kind of getting a glimpse. You, you, you can do back and forth. I'm, I'm going to go back and forth now. Um, got this sort of football shape. Um, I've got a fold. My eyelid folds above my eye like that. And you might be looking at it and saying, that doesn't look like Mr. Poulos. But you know what? I'm going to do my best here, and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so there's one eye. I'm going to come over about the same distance. This eye doesn't have as much of a fold. See, my eyes are not perfectly symmetrical. Maybe a little bit bigger. If your eyes aren't the same size on the paper, it will look weird. Okay, hey, I'm going to go with it for now. It might look a little weird. I can always make them bigger, I can always change them, I'm working light in my pencil. The next step is my eyebrows. So when I do eyebrows, I kind of want the curve, but I also want to know where they thicker. Some people's eyebrows are thicker toward their nose, some people's eyebrows are thicker toward the back. My eyebrows are thicker toward my nose. I'm just going to do a light scribble in there just to see how this looks. And remember that I'm working lightly. Mr. Poulos has a big old nose. Okay, I'm not afraid to draw it. This line here, okay, this uh, when we, we cut this the bottom half in half, this is my this is my nose line. And no matter what your nose looks like, you're gonna be the bottom of your nose should be about there. When I draw the lines of my nose, the side lines of my nose, um, you can't really ever, it's not a hard line, so I wouldn't press hard. But the color there, right, it gets a little darker. So I like to do just a light line. Okay, not bad. My glasses. Mr. Poulos hasn't been drawing people in a little while, so forgive me if it doesn't end up looking like me, but you know what? I'm going to go with it. I'm not afraid to make a mistake. I'm not afraid to not love this. Drawing people is hard. You guys are young. You only get better. Okay. This line here was for my mouth. Now my face shape, my cheeks come out a little bit more than the face shape that I drew. Maybe Mr. Pullis needs to do a little working out. I don't know. But I can change that shape a little bit. Your ears come out right around where your eyes are. Top of my ears lines up with almost my eyebrows. Bottom of my ears lines up to 
depending on how I'm looking at it, almost down to my nose. Okay, getting somewhere. Your hair. You're going to look at that and say, whoa, Mr. Poulos, my, head's, my forehead's not that big. Well, that's probably because you're used to drawing hair, you know, like this, and not bringing it down into the head at all. But I'll tell you what, guys, the top of my head, top of my head's up here, okay? This would be that top of that line, but my hair comes down into here. It's coming down into your forehead. So very likely, your hairline is somewhere above your eyebrows. And once you do that, and you erase your skull line here, going to look way better. Because remember that your hair is covering a whole bunch of that. All right. Hey, this isn't bad. This is not bad for the, for your, you know, a first sketch. And I could come in, clean up those glasses lines, make them look good, make sure my cheeks, you know, I have way too many lines around my cheeks. I'd clean those up. Um, I can get rid of some of these, these um, construction lines that I no longer need. They were there to tell me where to put stuff, right? but I don't need those anymore because I've already put stuff on there. Take a few minutes and, and really erase that, okay? It's going to start to look more and more like you. And I'll tell you what, if you're not happy with it, start to focus on what sections look weird to you and ask yourself, am I drawing what I think an eyeball looks like or am I drawing what my eyeball looks like? Because those are two very different things. You have an idea of what an eyeball looks like. You have an idea of what a nose looks like. But I bet your nose doesn't look exactly like that. Okay? You can always ask each other for help. Say, hey, this is what I'm drawing. I can't figure out exactly why it doesn't look like me. Maybe a friend can give you a tip. Okay? If you're giving tips on drawings, stay positive. Try not to be rude. I told you guys it's okay to make mistakes. I told you it's okay not to love this, but whenever we work hard on something, sometimes it can be hard to hear criticism about it. It can be hard to hear that people don't like it or that it doesn't look right. Anyway, that's the first step for today. Next step, uh, next week, what we're going to do is um, outline this. We're going to maybe add the neck. We're going to break it up into patterns. So your first step was your sketch. I hope that you were pausing this video, you know, anytime you needed to kind of keep up. I hope that kind of looks like me. And um, guys, I know this isn't the easiest thing in the world. I want you to keep at it. I want you to do your best. Work big, take your time. All right. Nice work. I'll see you then.